Hey, sis, no, let me ask you a question. Sis, 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 listen to me. You listening? What's your name, sis? What's your name? I'm, I'm so not this. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you my name. My name is Yosef. All right, you with me? Let's, let's slow it down a bit, right? You said you read the Bible, you know the Bible, right? Oh, I know the Bible. Very good, very good. I agree. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you know the Bible? But I didn't, you didn't Hold on. That's cool. I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay in the Old Testament, right? So you stay with me. I'm going to stay with you, all right? So, what does the Old Testament say about you wearing short pants? Bring it up. I wouldn't say that you wear short pants. Yeah. This is on your knees. But what does God say about you wearing pants, period? A woman not supposed to wear pants. Right. So. A woman supposed to wear a dress. Good. So, why are you wearing pants? She's not supposed to wear makeup. So, why? No, that's not, that's not biblical. You, makeup is fine. Pants is not okay. Jewelry is fine. Jewelry is fine. So, is that okay with God? So, so what is God going to do about that when he comes back? Because you want to go to heaven, right? I'm going to heaven. Are you sure about that? I know. Give me uh, Zechariah 1 and 8. That, that's not true, sis. If you don't start wearing those pants, Christ's not accepting you into the kingdom of heaven because you got to keep the I, commandments. I've been already accepted. No, no, you have not, sis. You have not been accepted. You live in the projects today, sis. I want right. to be in the projects. Right now, this, since we're in the projects. Project. This, you know it's it's, it's people me? selling drugs out here no, right now. It's right people now. out here. It's people selling drugs. I right. see somebody coming through. You don't know that I live sis, out here. Where do you live, sis? Oh, wait. You don't know I'm, I'm not going to tell you. Here. Okay, understand, sis. I'm going to watch this. Watch this. Watch all my life, sis. All my life. All my life. All my life, sis. That's why I can tell you for surety. There's people out here selling drugs and getting drunk right now. You know how I know that? Because I see you everywhere. Read. Now, now we we not gonna get off topic. We are gonna get back to the pants that when you when you don't repent of it, Christ going. This what don't knock. Show show me show me the Bible. Show me the scripture where it says God said don't knock. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter one and verse eight. Listen to the Bible says that you said you read read. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice when God comes back. Read that I will punish. What? I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel. Strange apparel is a woman wearing pants. When Christ comes back, he's going to punish people who are dressing out of order. That's a man wearing a dress. That's a woman wearing pants. Sis, sis, don't talk to them. Listen to the Bible. You believe in the Bible that you read, right? Now, now, get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Listen to the Bible that you read, right? That you read, right? You read the Bible. I'm just reading the Bible that you read, right? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Well, our people got to come out of the nonsense where it's just okay to say, I read the Bible. I've, I've read a Waldo book, but what has a Waldo book done to help me get out of my situation? If you're going to read the book, the Bible, you should probably do what's in it. Do, do you smoke, sis? Do you smoke? Do you smoke? It's a yes or no question. Are you supposed to? You can drink. That's fine. You can drink. That's fine. You can drink. I drink. The Bible does say you can drink. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't ask. Sis, I didn't ask you if you drink. Sis, you talk a whole lot. Stop talking so much. I asked you. Do you smoke? Do you smoke? Yes or no? You just told me yes. Now, I don't have an attitude. I love you, sis. You just don't know what love is. You just don't know what love is. Y'all, our sisters swear they want. I we need our strong black men to stand up. You want strong black men stand up? You don't like it. Give me what? Give me that. First Corinthians three. What heart you got in your body? Wear pants. I was born with a gift. What's that gift? You know. What's your gift? What's your gift? I can teach you something. What's your gift? Teach me something. I can teach you something. Teach me something. And I, tell you I love it when our people, yes. I, black people, the only people that can teach you something and walk away and teach you nothing, bro. That's crazy. No, no, Read what you got. No, no. First, Corinthians, three. First Corinthians chapter what? 3 and verse 16. I'm going to deal with that smoking since you shouldn't be smoking. Read. What? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? The Bible says you're the temple of God. Read. And that the temple of the spirit of God dwelleth within you. And the spirit of God lives in you, sis. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. If anybody defiles their temple, i.e. smoking, that pollutes your lungs, there's a, a Surgeon General warning on the back of the cigarettes that says you will die of cancer. You're killing yourself. Breathe. Him shall God destroy. Read that again. And if any man defile the temple Bible. Bible, sis. You believe Bible. Bible, read. If any man.
man yeah. defile the temple of if God. If anybody defile the temple of God, read. Him shall God destroy. That's why our people got gout, high blood pressure, hey. heart attacks, hey. cancer. Hey. We die out here because every commandment God says don't do, we do it. We defile our temple. Read it again. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Find me that in Proverbs where it said the, the woman is, uh, yeah, yeah, that one. Give me that one. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the Bible is talking about us as the Israelites. Cause our sister came out here and yelled at us for no reason. Outside of we just reading the Bible, we're just reading the Bible. The Bible is so kind. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna peep y'all game to something. The reason why Jesus Christ was killed was for teaching this Bible. Right. It wasn't because he was just loving everybody. Right. Christ was teaching things that were offending people. Right. And when he taught it, people got mad. Right. And people got so mad, they killed him. For reading what? The Bible. Because all we did was read the Bible that you, sis, said you believe in and read. So why are you mad? We just reading the book that you read. Our people crazy as hell. Read. The book of Proverbs. Chapter 7 and verse 10. I'm going to show you this book talking about our people. Says, Watch this. I'm going to read you out the Bible. Says, read. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an heart. Meaning her clothes was tight to her body. Read. And subtle of heart. Read. She is loud. Read. What? She is loud read. and stubborn. And what? And stubborn. Yeah. She is loud and stubborn. You can't have a conversation with her like a normal person. Read that part again. She is loud. She is what? She is loud Read. and stubborn. Hold on. What's this talking about, sis? We read in the Bible. You know the book that you read? You knew that was in there? You knew the Bible was talking about you being loud and stubborn? Hold on. Read it again. Let's see what God say. Read. She is loud. She is what? She is loud. She is what? She is loud. And what? And stubborn. And what? And stubborn. Since you can't even listen to a conversation. I came up trying to talk to you. You so loud and stubborn that you can't even listen. You can't even talk. Have you been drinking? You drunk, sis? Are you drunk? You drunk, sis. You probably drunk, sis. Give me the one where it says, uh, uh, don't worry about it, bro. We're going to drop it, bro. We're going to drop it. Sis, stop drinking so much and smoking. That's not good for you, sis. I wonder what the fuck you do. What am I? I'm, I'm reading the Bible. Reading the Bible. That, that, you know, that book that you said you read. What you doing behind the box? Your I'm applying it. I'm applying it. Ask me. You don't drink? Ask, I drink. I don't, don't get drunk, smoke? though. No, I don't you smoke. You ain't random, but nobody, random nobody that do it? Come no. Just, None of these men smoke. Not one of them. Every single one of these men don't sleep around with random women. They all marry. Not one of them. They all take care of their kids. You're looking at a new breed of black man, sis. It's different. I know you don't understand what men in order looks like. But this is what men in this. You know what? Our black sisters love to say, I need a strong black man to stand up. This is a strong black man standing up, sis. You don't know what it looks like. You know what happens when strong black men stand up? Our sisters be the main watchdog against us. They hate strong black men. That's why they took welfare and feminism over their man. They took their man out the house and took welfare and feminism. That's what happened. You hate strong black men, sis. That's why you do this. Read it again. She is what? She is loud and, what? and stubborn. Her feet a bite of nut in her house. Hold on, her feet a bite of nut where? Her feet a bite of nut in her house. But where is she? Now she is without. Well, now she's without where? In the street. And where? Now in the street. She out here in the streets arguing in a man's face, being loud and stubborn. Jeez. That's the Bible. That's the, ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy we just read what that sister is in the Bible? Our people don't believe in the Bible. Come deal with me, sis. What's your name, sis? What's your name, sis? Don't be scared. We ain't, we ain't out here to harm nobody. Just, you gotta, you gotta like, put foolishness in his place sometimes. That's right. That's all, you know, but we ain't out here to harm nobody. We love our people. Our people out here suffering from drugs, from crime, right. from single right. parent homes, right. Right. from poor education, from poverty. That's what we out here suffering from. You know why? You ever heard that you was the Israelites, sis? You ever heard that? Come, come deal with me, sis. Come, come look at this sign. I ain't gonna take up too much of your time, I promise. Unless you let your time be taken up. I ain't gonna take up too much of your time, sis. Come deal with me, come deal with me. What's your name? Kirsten? Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, Kirsten. My name is Joseph, right? So, Kirsten, you believe in the Bible? Okay, understood, understood. Let me ask you this. What's your race? 
on ethnicity according to the Bible. Do you know? Okay. Well, African and America, that's like two Caucasian people, right? So do you descend from two Caucasian people? Amerigo Vespucci is where America comes from, and Leo Scipios Africanus, who was a Roman, who conquered the continent of Africa. That's why it's called Africa, because his last name is Africanus. Those are two Caucasian people. So if you're African-American, you descend from two white people, right? Oh, no, not me. Oh, okay. So what were you before you were an African-American? What, what were you called before you was an African-American? African-American is a term that came in 1985, right? So what were you before that? Probably nigger, nigger, or colored, or negro, or any form of those things, right? What we're showing you is that according to the Bible, you are an Israelite. More than likely, look at this sign. Which one of these signs do you come from? Because on this side is what your slave master called you, but on here is what God calls you. Which one of those you fall upon? What's up with you, man? Come deal with the sign. Come deal with me. You ever heard of the Israelites? You believe in the Bible? That is your life different though. What you mean? I'm Muslim. I just want to get the okay. concept. Okay, how you how were you Muslim? How did you know how did you learn you was Muslim? I read every book and I picked my choice. Okay. Alright, where did we learn Muslim or Islam from? Huh? Give me that in no we didn't. Give me that in uh Jeremiah three. Everything the same thing in the Quran is in that Bible. Well, parts of it, parts of it, parts of it I agree with that. Parts of it I agree, right? But you know where we learned Islam? In slavery to Arabs. Real Arabs. Right. We not Muslims, right? They don't even accept you as a Muslim right. over there. You go over there talking about you a Muslim, they might kill you. I'm, I'm, I'm talking crazy. That's the truth. That's a fact. They, there's black people that look like you that's in slavery over there in Mauritania right now. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 2. Read. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places Read. and see where thou hast not been lying with. The Bible says look up to the high places and see where thou hast been lying with. Yeah. Black people do not like truth. It's crazy. We just read in the Bible and black people get so mad and offended. Read. In the ways hast thou set for them uh -huh. as the Arabian. As the what? As the Arabian. And what? In the wilderness. You learn Islam in slavery. It's something called the trans Saharan slave trade. Right. Where Muslims, even today in Mauritania, Saudi Arabia, in many Arab countries, they in Libya, they enslaving your black behind. Go over there and call yourself a Muslim. They gonna make you a slave over there. Not crazy hell, bro. I didn't say. Lift up that shit. You live in the project. You're not slave. Somebody could run through here right now and do a drive by. You're not safe, sis. Read. Hold on, sis. Didn't we just read out the Bible that you lied to Southern? I don't know. Sis, stop doing that. Stop doing that, sis. Go, go, go back and get that. I'm not going to do anything to you. Why, 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 why? Black people, the only ones that want to fight, they own people. That's right. Why, sis, I bet you, hold on, watch this, sis. I bet you if a white man walked by here, you wouldn't walk up him and say, what you going to do? You're not going to do that. You only do that to your own people. Read it. The book of Proverbs. Listen, sis. Chapter 7 and verse 10. We got to remind us, sis, to read. And behold, they met him a woman with the entire of her harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud. Remember that, sis? She is loud no, and stubborn. And no. what? And her feet um, are by the nut in her house. Sis, did you say you believe in the Bible, sis? Psalm, the Bible Matthew 19. Or Matthew 19, 16. Sis, Jesus. let me ask you a question. Sis. Psalm sis. Psalm sis. Sis. Get you where you need to be. Sis. Sis. <laughs> you believe in the Bible, sis? I got to have a blessing. You don't love me, sis. That's right. You are here teaching our people to break God's commandments. That's right. You don't love me. You just cuss me out. You just cuss me out. You just you just threaten me with violence. You talking about what I'm going to do. I ain't did nothing to you, sis. I'm going to show you how to get the kingdom of heaven. Let's get Jesus' words. You believe in Jesus? I got Jesus. Right. You got Jesus? You got Jesus? What Jesus expect you to do? What Jesus say you got to do to keep the commandments? Oh, you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Matter of fact, Give me, give me uh, Luke 19, 27. Sis, sis, I'm going to show you, sis, I'm going to show you what Jesus, sis, I'm going to show you what Jesus say what happen to you when you come back. Read, 19 and 27. Sis, watch this. I'm going to show you Jesus. I'm going to show you the love of Jesus. What he going to do when he come back and you don't want to fall in line to the men. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 19 and verse 27. It's Jesus. But those, my enemies, uh -huh. Which would not, which would not that I should reign over them. Because Christ is going to rule over you.
you when he comes back. He's not coming to hug and all that nonsense. When Christ, you listening, brother? When Christ come back, he's not coming to give out hugs and dolphins, trees, sunshine, and rainbows. He's coming back to kill people that's not going to listen to him. Read it again. But those my enemies. But God said, those my enemies. Which would not that I should reign over them. Bring hither. Bring what? Bring hither and slay them before me. He said, kill them before me. That's Jesus that said that. Right. Those that don't want to listen when he come back, he said, bring them here. Bring that ass here, boy. And he's going to kill them before me. Jesus. That's what Christ just said. Read it again. But those my enemies. But those my enemies. Read. Which would not that I shall reign over them. That Christ said, I can't tell you what to do. You ain't going to listen to me. Read. Bring hither. Bring they behind here. Read. And slay. And them. kill them. Read. And slay them before me. When Christ come back, a lot of people going to die. Right. They don't want to fall in line. That's the Bible. That's Jesus. Our people love to talk about the love of Jesus, but they forget. This is the same Jesus that went into the, 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 the tabernacle, flipped the table over, and started whooping people's behind. That's right. This is the same Peter, Jesus that called Peter the devil. The, he told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.